Aloha, my name is Bud Stonebreaker. I am a Keiki Oka'aina. I've loved Hawaii since I was born here many, many years ago. And the opportunity has come for a great change in Hawaii. I'm very concerned about this agenda that has come into our islands. This thing that says that COVID-19 is a great plague and we must stay locked up. And it seems like for almost forever, the governor still says he doesn't know when we can end the lockdown. But I believe that the future of this agenda is either poverty or prison. And why do I say that? Because that's what they've said. Their narrative says that we are going to test and then trace and then treat. The testing means they stick that thing up into your nose and you can't get a surgery unless they do this. And they use the numbers to see who's sick or not sick. The problem is with this illness, which was called by the European director of the CDC, a mild infection that most cases are asymptomatic. In fact, 99% of COVID cases will pass with just flu-like symptoms. The fatality rate is 0.1% on par with the flu. And so we recognize that the science has become more clear and yet their agenda hasn't. And so they're testing. My neighbor, she had to be tested before she gave birth to her, her child just a month ago. And she said that if she tested positive, they would have taken her baby from her when her baby was born. And, and it grieved my heart to think that families would be separated over this agenda. And then there's the tracing. That's the next step that they said that they have for us, that an app will be downloaded on your phone and Google and Apple are working on that. And then the state is going to pay money for tracers. These were going to be sort of medically empowered investigators that will watch you and monitor you our privacy will be out the window uh, we have privacy rights here in America with the HIPAA Act and so forth but this will fundamentally give away your location and your privacy at all times I believe that's fundamentally against a free society and even right now many people don't feel oppressed because even though the state has a mandate above them that they could execute that is up to a year in jail and five thousand dollar fine just for not social distancing or wearing a mask or these sorts of things um, just because they're not cracking down doesn't mean they can't and i don't believe that we can exist as free people under the constant threat of a government and i'm going to change that and the last thing that they said they were going to do is treat it and the world health organization and directors of health departments across the country explained how they would do that they would come to your house they would knock on the door they would test you for it and if you have it you will be removed and if somebody has it in your household they will be removed from your house families will be separated and so i see this as an agenda i have a plan behind that this is the primary purpose i'm running I believe that we can fix the economy here in the city. I believe that we can allow small businesses to grow. I believe that we can dig ourselves out of the coming hole because we just need to do the basic things in the city. In fact, in some way, I feel like I'm running to be the janitor in chief. Uh, I have no ambitions for further office. I just know that we need to have uh, integrity in our police department. We need to have integrity in our roads. They need to be fixed. We need to support small business and not be hostile toward them. But in order to get there, I need you to join my army of volunteers. We are starting an Aloha revolution. We want to fight for the goodness of the people of Hawaii, our Ohana, our Kupuna. We want to take care of those that we love and we can't do it with this narrative in place. And so join me as we win back the hearts and souls of our people here in Hawaii. God bless.